guys and welcome back to another episode. So today I'm going to talk about the Azerite power and your Azerite armor. So in Legion you had your artifact weapon where you had your well you can say artifact power so you could choose different talents and so on. But in Legion sorry, <laughs> in Battle for Azeroth, you will have this Heart of Azeroth instead. And this one here will do that your chest, your shoulders and your head can actually have different talents in it. Kind of, you know, yeah, talents, perks, spells, you can say. You can choose different one. So for example, show right now I have the full PP set on um, for the Battle of Azeroth. As you can see, it look pretty awesome. So you can see here the helmet. If I hold shift down and right click, you can see I get kind of this talent tree here where I already have chosen different spells. So you can see, boom, boom, boom. So the thing is, now you can see here on the right side, I have the tier, uh, sorry, tie, no, it's called tier, <laughs> tier 22 armor. So here's the head. And tier 22 is going to be no class sets. It's only, you know, it's only um, plate mail, cloth, leather tiers now. So you don't have any class tiers. So this is the helm. And it come, the helm from Uldia comes in th three different variants, you can say. They all have the same stats, as you can see. Intellect, Stamina, Strange, Intellect, Stamina, Strange, Intellect, Stamina, Strange. But the difference is that each of them has its own unique Azerite power. So you can see this is how this one here looks like. That's Galea. If I open another Galea again, it's the same spells. So no, no more RNG, no more random things. As you can see here, Galea, Galea. The helmet called Galea always have these spells. But if I then open the same helmet, the same, same stats, but a different name, instead of it's called Galea, this one here is called the File Labot Laboratorium, you can see it has different spells. So that means you don't have like in Battle, f uh, sorry, in Legion to farm random gear. Now you know that, okay, I can get three helms from Uldia. They all have these spells. Hmm, which one should I pick? And then it's actually up to you. And the last one here, Afterlife. So no matter if you get Afterlife like three times, and it has, let's say you go into you go into normal, mythic, heroic, and you get Afterlife, that's only the eye level that would increase. But the talents in here would be the same. So you can see now I have Galea, Laboratorium, and Afterlife. But if I open another Afterlife, you can see this is Afterlife. If I open another Afterlife, it's the same spells. So no more RNG random stuff. Now you know exactly what you get when you get your gear. Of course, random loot still from bosses. So, as you can see here, we have a helm, shoulders, chest. And depending on how much, how high level your Heart of Azerite is, well, it also will increase the eye level of your Heart of Azerite, and it will unlock the spells. As you can see here, the first one here you get from Azerite, I think it was 2, 3, 4, 5. And after that, I mean, then it's only your Heart of Azerite will only, will just increase the level each time it goes up in, you can say, level. So, as you can see, for example, for this helm here, I can choose, uh, judging a foe heals all allies within 8 yards. Uh, casting healing spells restore 28 mana over 8 seconds, stacks up to 2 times. Every 30 second gain absorb shield and increased item level. So always, no matter which gear you have, the middle one is increasing the item level by 5. Blizzard said in an interview that they don't want any more people to take, um, you know, tears. So before tiers was really an important thing, you, you had to have the full tier to actually get the bonuses from the tier. But tiers is a dead thing now, and you just have, yeah, only the Azerite powers now. So of course you can still go into all tier, and you can still get, you can kind of call it, uh, you can see this one, this transmog here, this helmet. Of course you can go into the dungeon and get what matches it, but it will no more be in tier. It will just be like a standalone item but the difference here is that it has well you can say it has its azerite power 
Also, a pretty cool thing about SRI power is that each unique SRI power from different dif different locations has its unique spell. So you can see this helmet here has a Uldia spell. That means this talent here, this SRI power, is only obtainable in Uldia. So of course you could get some other paladin gear that has maybe this one here and this one here and this one here and this one here. They are pretty normal, but this one here. All dear is unique, like my PvP set I have here. If I open it, you can see I have one here called Horde. So that's that's only for the Horde. I, I'm pretty sure Alliance have pretty much the same, but again, this is only for the PvP gear. And the same for my shoulders. I have one here called Horde. And the last one here I actually have, uh, where was it? Here. Your abilities have a chance to plant a factional banner for 6 seconds, empowering yourself and up to 4 allies with the spirit of the Horde. Again, this is only an Azerite you can get on PvP gear. So PvP gear has its own Azerite power, and Uldia has its own. So this one here, your armor gathers and analyzes combat data every 5 seconds, increasing your primary stat by 7, stacking up to 20 times. The data decays to while out of combat. So this one is pretty cool, I mean you gain pretty much primary stat. This one here also has a Uldia. Of course, each of these different items here has well, and, and you, you can say each of these three is actually tier 22. They are all tier 22, but you can get three different, you can see, formats. So, let's see here. If I go in to here. So here we have, uh, somehow I'm looking at Death Knight gear. So here we have the Git Runner Galea. So here's the spells I can get. Even if I go up to Mythic and find it here, it's the same spells. So no matter if you go into Raid Finder or you go to Mythic, it's the same Azerite powers inside the armor, but of course the eye level will increase. And that's what Blizzard wanted. They don't want you to find some boots. They like, oh okay, I found this item. It's 10 eye level higher than my item, but I need my item because of some crappy tier sets. Now Blizzard has made the highest eye level is the most important spell. And these talents you can choose here are not important so much that you you don't want to change it for eye level. Eye level will be the new meta in this game, but these spells here, of course, are still good. I mean, Grand Crusader's chance uh, chance is increased by to twenty, and it grants you five hundred strength for eight seconds. I mean, it's cool, but all the other items here also have some cool items that you can choose. So, well, just as information, eye level is the new shit. <laughs> um, and I think I explained pretty much as a right power. So you can see in each raid, each raid you can get three different as a right helm, chest, shoulders. Um, and as you also can see here for the raid, three, two helmets, one shoulder here, two chest. Yeah, pretty much. There's two free versions of each gear. Um, so it's going to be pretty much easier for you if you are a transmog hunter. It's going to be easy for you to get the transmog. And also, if you get a transmog on your hunter, you can use the same transmog on your shaman. Because there's no more the class, you could say class tiers. It's only plate, cloth, mail, leather tiers. So, and and again, this expansion is about having Alliance versus Horde. So that means all the Horde Warriors, all the Alliance Warriors will be kind of unique. Uh, you, they will be kind of the same transmogs. So if everyone... So look at my gear. This is played for Horde PP. All Pal Paladins, Death Knight and Warriors is going to look exactly like this. Of course they will not maybe have a shield and a mace, but they will have exactly the same armor. And and by that I mean, imagine this is something cool, you're going into Altec Valley, and you see 20 plate users over there, and they all come in this horde gearish armor with spikes on and all that. And, and that's the spirit of really horde versus alliance. So a lot of people is, uh, I want my class tiers, and I'm like, well, I like this. We are now. I can actually show. I'm Horde. 
and I stay in for it. Look at my shield. Auto. <laughs> so I don't need to look like a paladin, warrior, death knight. I just want to show that I'm actually playing for the horde. And yeah, okay, so that was actually off track. Um, I hope I, I quite told you about this SRI power. Each time you do dungeons, you can see here if I go into rain. Here. Okay, that. So here, you can see right in the background, SRI power. So every time I get more SRI power, I will increase my SRI on my neck. It will be get high eye level. And you will unlock these spells here, as you can see. Uh, because I'm already SRI power 10, I can choose them all. So, chest, shoulder, head, SRI, po SRI powers. Eye level is still the most important things. Um, and there's no more t class tiers. So no more going in and farm your tiers. Eye level is the new shit. So you can go in, get full gear and PvP, and then do raids after that. Because you don't need tiers anymore. Only as a right. Powers. So, I've speaking for 11 minutes now. I really hope that you understand the principle of SRI power now. And if you have any questions, please comment down. Um, or tell me if you think I have said something wrong. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I have understand this system. But please, well, leave down a comment. And of course, leave down also a comment if you don't agree that this is a nice system. Um, yeah. Oh, well, I can't wait for Battle for Azurad. I mean, this is so cool. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, you guys, for watching. And uh, have a really nice evening, day, whatever, where you are right now. So, thanks, you guys, for watching. And have a nice day.